Okay, we're still going low tech tonight. We've got a, some Oak Island to watch new season, so we're gonna show this to you quick. It's called Make Five Cross Out. You need paper, you need one die, and Lily pointed out to me that sounds crazy, but everybody, the singular form of dice is die. And then, can you hand me the die? So you can use a regular die. Um, I don't have my teacher dice at home, so we just need a zero side. So I just put some painter's tape on it. We need zero through five on the die. Okay, so here's how you play. It's similar to a regular cross out that we taught you last time, but instead when you roll the one die, you don't cross out what you see, you cross out the number that goes with it to make five. So I rolled a five, so I need to think what goes with five to make five? Well, it's zero because zero plus five is five. So I can cross out zero. Now it's Lily's turn. The winner is the person who gets them all crossed out first. So she's crossing out five because zero plus five is five. Oh, I got zero, so now I can cross out my five because zero plus five is five. Hmm. Why are you crossing out three? Because three is the partner for two to make five. Thank you. Oh, oh, I got a three. So now I'm gonna cross out two because three plus two makes five. Cross those out like that. Uh-oh, so now you can't go, but you get to keep playing. The first person to get to them all crossed out is the winner. So I got a one, one and four make five, so I'll cross out four. Five and zero. All right. I got a three, oh, can't go because three and two make five. Ah! Oh, so we could keep playing, but we're pretty sure you get the gist. The person who has them all crossed out first is the winner. This is, again, a super excellent game for kindergartners because their job in kindergarten is to know all the partners that make five and to be able to add within five uh, quickly. So try it out with your kindergartner. Have a great night. See you later.